Today I'll be talking about the French occupation of Vietnam or Indochina in general. Um, today is just a light overview. I'm going to be going quite a bit more in depth in the future. But it was a beautiful day out, so I decided to go take some pictures. The French occupation started in 1858 uh, after the French victory over the Chinese occupation. And it ended in 1946 when Ho Chi Minh's revolutionary uh, expelled the French government, starting the War of Independence. This building is called the Presidential Palace, it was erected by France in 1909. I've tried to get in here a couple times, but it seems like you need to be on a guided tour or else they won't let you in. So these are the best photos I could get. The police asked me to leave and I'm not going to fight with them. Ho Chi Minh famously did not want to stay here uh, for symbolic reasons. He constructed a stilt house and a pond on the grounds which he lived out of and the presidential palace was used for uh, international diplomats and important guests. This next building, I don't actually know what it is. Again, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to let them allow me to photograph the French government buildings because there's some really, really beautiful buildings. But I thought it was interesting that they put a hammer and sickle in a place of prominence. They're all over the city. It's not like it's a rarity or anything. Continuing this whole block, or this whole street, was homes of French aristocracy and the generals. You can see in this first photo that they take a lot of architectural cues from Chinese architecture, and that's pretty prevalent, especially in the earlier parts of the colonial period. In the later parts, they started building more French traditional without the Chinese influence. I'm not going to put this part in narration just because it's really interesting. French cathedral built in uh, probably late 1800s. Japanese citadel during the Japanese op occupation right across the street from each other. Crazy.
think this is a great shot of the urban decay that a lot of these French structures have fallen into. Uh, they're beautiful, don't get me wrong. And they're just covering the old quarter. I'm gonna do a video just on decaying French buildings, but you can see the modern clean structures in the background and the falling apart, decaying French architecture in the front. I think it's really cool. Okay, and here is the here is the Opera House, uh, one of the most famous, if not the most famous piece of French architecture in Vietnam. Uh, on the right, you can see the Hanoi Hilton, which is referenced in, in jest by a lot of American prisoners of war. They weren't actually kept in the Hanoi Hilton, there's a prison a few blocks away, which I'll be covering later. I just thought it was funny. It was built by the French government, and it was I don't think it was a Hilton, but it was a hotel uh, built by the French government in the early part of the 20th century. Now the basement and the grounds of the Hanoi Opera House is this really cool cafe. It's a large chain, but there is a bunker that was underneath the opera house that was used by the aristocracy and American diplomats when the French were being expelled. They actually had to airlift them out of this building and it's just this really chic cafe now. This is a lake in the center of the old quarter called Huan Kim Lake. Uh, it's essentially Vietnamese Times Square. It's where a lot of major, um, major events are held. The temple-like structure in the center left actually had a small-scale Statue of Liberty on it for a long time. The designer of the Statue of Liberty lived in Hanoi for a period of time. It was solid brass, and after the French were expelled, they took it down and melted it into a brass Buddha that is still on display in the pagoda, probably two or three kilometers north of here. And I like to end all of my videos with pagodas, but I felt this was fitting. This is a cathedral, the largest in Hanoi. It was the site of the Royal Pagoda, which was one of the largest pagodas in all of Southeast Asia at the time. When the French took over, they destroyed it and took all of the gold, it apparently was covered in gold, and built this cathedral on top of it. So I thought it was fitting for the theme. And I know this was a shorter video, um, I just wanted to bang this out because the, the weather today was just too nice to not. My name is Alan. I'm a sound engineer and photographer based in Hanoi, Vietnam. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of architectural history projects in the works, similar to this video. Uh, if you're interested in that, I would love to subscribe. Other than that, please vote in your local elections, and thank you, goodbye.